Okay, um, alright, so, well, I normally don't do a reaction, um, I actually was going to do more of what's a trailer analysis in a way, um, especially because, you know, I've been mostly doing uh, a lot of research on, uh, uh, my own kind of Kingdom Hearts uh, panel for upcoming con, uh, especially with this trailer coming out. It's been very intriguing. Um, so I guess I will go, uh, you know, kind of in depth more with it, uh, especially with some things that some people have missed. I know a lot of people have been kind of freaking out on, on Twitter, Tumblr, and all the other uh, social media websites. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go through it. So, we already seen this cutscene before. This this has been something that's been shown um, in the uh, original trailer, or at least the uh, kind of like the teaser trailer. Uh, so everybody kind of assumes you, this is Sora because it has the um, you know his his kingdom, uh, you know his kingdom uh, key or not kingdom key, but his necklace. Um, and he's definitely looked like the other thirteen. Uh, that looks like the void gear from Venetus. Looks like Marluxia. Uh, the scene. Uh, some people are saying this looks like the moon. It kind of looks like one of those, um, kind of one of those, like, uh, things you put on your arms. Uh, not a chakra, but it looks like one of those things you put on your arms. And some people have stated, okay, this might be, a not this, but this is probably Luxord because of time. Um, and you kind of see everybody else sort of out and about. This is a very, very nicely clean, nicely done, uh, chessboard. But that is kind of interesting how he is the one that's surrounded it. Checkmate. Also another thing, I'm also going to be pausing this a lot because like I said, this is a trailer analysis. Now, this was one of the very first scenes we ever actually saw in like when uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 was originally announced and they really, really cleaned up. It's, um, it's kind of interesting uh, going into um, what's been going on in the story and, and by the way, the, this, I'm probably going to mention some spoiler from, you know, previous uh, Kingdom Hearts games or just Kingdom Hearts games in general. So if you haven't played any, uh, you might be spoiled in this video. Um, especially if you haven't seen the trailer, I'm also going to put the trailer link in the uh, in the description below. So uh, you can always check that out before you see the uh, rest of this video. But it's interesting because um, they mentioned previously where they're kind of having this conversation where the master or their master is telling them about the land of fairy tales or at least what happens in kingdom hearts union or the back cover um so it's kind of interesting how they're sort of playing out this supposed prophecy that's being foretold and i guess we'll find out more information so it's it's still like it's some of it's hinted in back cover some of it's not but it's it's just interesting to point out like that's that's where that whole thing's coming from also, he's infamous for wearing an X, if you can see that there. There's an X. Uh, he doesn't really change much, so that's funny tell. That's interesting. He picks up Sora's piece. Also, it looks like he has like a human version of Baymax's mask. Oh, did I forgot to put the... <laughs> I think I might have forgot to put the captions on. It should be on. Give me one second. I do apologize. Oi, oi! There we go. Keyblade Hero 3. Wow. So I guess it's supposed to be a play on words for, um, I guess Big Hero 6 for Keyblade Hero 3. But yeah, that's a really nice looking design. I wonder if we'll be able to, like, um, kind of the tech stuff with this. Like, um,. Like, I don't know, like, some high-tech stuff here will probably design for Sora. So that's going to be really cool uh, when that comes out. If 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 it's more than just a headset. Like, if it's just a headset and doesn't do anything, you know, I'd be a little disappointed. But it'll be really cool. <laughs> so 
so we got some more wall running. Now, there's something else that's sort of shown here. Oh, okay, now I, I know what that is. That's the, um, uh, it, it's loading up your little specials. Now, the way his life bar in that very long, long, I mean, this this is a fairly long magic bar right there. I'm going to assume Big Hero 6 takes place much later in the game, if not when, like, the last three worlds you get to before uh, the end game world. So, uh, some really big stuff's going down. Yeah. Also, you get to fly on Baymax. It's so awesome. He'll be a better- Hopefully, he'll be a better healer than Donald. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Flying around. Now, when I first saw this, this is this is actually really interesting. And a lot of people just act it's really crazy because a lot of people just kind of missed it. Like I've seen a lot of reaction videos so far when, when it came out this morning. Um, like I said, I I didn't really do this is not a reaction video, it's just trailer analysis, but because um, it was like two in the morning for me when the trailer came out, so I was too tired to do one. But uh, a lot of people kind of missed this. Now, I'm going to try to see if I can freeze frame it. This is not nanobytes. These are the um, those viruses blocks from Recoded, which is really interesting that they're popping up again. Why would these blocks pop up again in... You know, they were originally from Recoded. You know, a lot of people kind of forget about Coded, but uh, these are making significant uh return and i and i thought that was interesting a lot of people seem to miss it like some people caught it but i thought that was very interesting how these are clearly looks like the viruses blocks from recoded so you're gonna have to be fighting them it looks like at least in the big hero 6 world um and i'm also kind of making note of this because there's something even more interesting which will pop up later looks like we got some mini games たくさんの人を助けたい。その思いはベイマックスに。みんなの心に宿ってる。その心のつながりが広たちの強さ。Okay. This that's interesting because the way also that's really really nice details. Um it's really interesting especially with what comes before in this little kind of call back to the uh you know the the days trio and and the uh twilight town trio of them just sitting down eating ice cream i'm a little upset it's only chocolate ice cream i rather would have been sea salt ice cream but you can't have that everywhere wow that like high definition of like roxas's face is it's like crazy I mean, also like that transition, like that's, that's crazy. Now, what makes it interesting is because like, everybody keeps like, well, at least the more is like, Roxas is important, Roxas is important, Roxas is important. And we don't really know why, it's just he is, so hopefully we'll find out more about that. Um, his eyes look more like, less bluish, but that's just high definition probably. Now this is really really intriguing because uh a lot of people kind of were talking about this as well on uh, social medias and now take a look at his hair you kind of see it short doesn't look like noctis anymore uh, but it's it's a very short cut kind of like a mix between his kingdom hearts one and like mm, dream drop distance uh phase i guess um, and with Riku, like, like, Riku's always been kind of battling the darkness, like, he, he's had this story arc for a while now, and I feel like he wouldn't really be the type of person who just gives in anymore, like, like, it's already been done, like, we, we, we get it, like, it's already, it's, it's done. Um, but a lot, I know a lot of people later on the trailer kind of, there's, there's, people were confused about that, uh, but yeah, that's, that's definitely interesting with the haircut, um. Uh, on the whole, I can face darkness now. So we'll see how that also goes out as well. Apparently we have phones now in the uh, Kingdom Hearts universe. 
Um, now, this is actually something we've seen before in the um, uh, the dandelion meaning or the dandelion uh, uh, video uh, thing where it was uh, um, the classic kingdom where they showed, you know, the little like 2D, you know, old school like tiger games stuff. Uh, apparently we have FaceTime now with not Zexion, but it actually is Ienzo. So uh, what we know so far is that he's not in order. His eyes are blue. So uh, we can uh, at least count on the fact that he's not one of the bad guys. But um, this most likely will play a part in the game. Uh, probably get in communication between back and forth. Uh, this looks like the lab of Hello Bastion, that little circular thing, um, especially from Tron's world. So that's definitely kind of uh, intriguing as well. So we know they're in the basement of the Hello Bastion, or, or correction, Radiant Garden now. Um, so that's where they're all at. So um, yeah, we, we only really see him. I mean, like we we, we see the others. There's, there's uh, or, or uh, what was it Dylan? Uh, I can never remember Lixite's real name. A Lewis, or it's like A-E-L something. Uh, but as far as we know, they're in this general area of the Hollow Bastion, uh, early slash Radiant Garden. <laughs> also, that is the cleanest I've ever seen the gummy ship. And we have Jiminy Cricket. Uh, he looks a little creepy in high definition. I mean, we're he, his movie came out in like the 50s, but... Uh, very, very clean, uh, very uncomfortable looking chairs. But, uh, so we have this, like, phone and, uh, Jiminy Cricket's there, so, um, you probably have to, uh, 100% complete that journal if they're, if you want the, uh, mm -hmm. if you want the, uh, uh, secret ending. Oh, that looks pretty good for Rapunzel. Uh, looks like Flynn's in the background. <laughs> Like those flower heartless we've seen. Oh, hi, Davy Jones. Uh, so we got these flower heartless that we saw in the original first trailer. Uh, not first trailer, at least the first Tangle trailer. So you know we're probably gonna have to fight these. Yo, Jack that looks very nice and clean. Um, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really actually surprised they decided to do Pirates of the Caribbean, but I'm kind of glad they took another shot at it because the first one when it showed up in Kingdom Hearts two. Is kind of cringeworthy, but the way they're able to blend it now, especially with Unreal Engine 4, and, and, and I've, I've used uh, Unreal Engine 4, and it's a very, very nice lighting program, and, and, and just program in general, so, um, yeah, this this definitely looks very clean, very neat. Um, I know they're probably still going to like last-minute polishes before the game comes out, but, um, yeah, it, it, it's weird. They just straight up just skipped. <laughs> they only did the first movie and just kind of skipped the second movie, but... Uh, I guess they'll have a combination of both the second and third movie, so uh, we'll have to see about that. My <laughs> 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 This is the very, very first thing we've ever saw that wasn't 1.5. Or 2.5, and I'm very, very happy they went back and still included this with all the updated designs. Uh, with with Master Eric, Master Erica's Keyblade, uh, Sora and his Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit, which makes me wonder if Destiny Islands finally is going to be a non tutorial playable world because uh, it's never really been a it's never been a playable, playable world, it's, it's only ever really been a tutorial level. So we've never like we've We've gone through like the, the the playground area in one, and then like we've only really seen cutscenes, you know, in two of like the town area, like not the playground area, but like the actual like town, um, and then like a little bit of it in, in, in Birth by Sleep. So it'll be really really nice if they actually do include us in uh, or, or let Destiny Island actually officially be included, where you can kind of walk around like maybe it's a hub world. Like I mean, I feel like that could actually work as well, because I mean. It'll be dangerous for them to go back, but it would be interesting if that's treated like the hub world, like like if it's like Traverse Town, um, uh, like from one in in uh, I think two was like Radiant Garden was like the quote unquote hub world. Uh, so that'll be really really nice if Destiny Island. Hopefully, it will be like one of those those hub worlds. K H U in reference. <laughs> Now, we all know he's Nordit. Uh, I have no clue why he's Nordit, even though we defeated him. 
Um, now we don't know if this is him, like his nobody form, or he's, I guess what the fandom calls a somebody. Uh, so that's, that's something to be figured out. His hair just looks a little weird. Just, just personally, his hair just looks weird. So we also know she's Norded as well. It's gonna be a really pain to uh, fight her. Also, it looks like Sven and Kristoff are in the background. How do they not realize this bright yellow hair chicks in front of them? I have no clue. <laughs> so we got the original Twilight Towns. The Twilight Towns got really up. I mean, look at that cobweb. Really got updated. So we're gonna fight the Kraken. So we had uh it's like some high speed so something there so i can't believe jack's gonna let him like wield the the black pearl that's a first in those life bars so oh, <laughs> got those gamblers know, back again right, so this looks like a mini game with some chocolate heartless i have no clue uh yeah it definitely looks like a mini game something called trinity sled and Let's go take a selfie. <laughs> There's like a rabbit, some birds. These, these kind of look a little horrible. I, I like these. These are cute. These are very cute. It's like a... It's like a wolf-like heartless. That's interesting. It's like a... Like a wolf-looking heartless or something. And there's... A uh, marshmallow. If we waver from the path we lay, we destroy. Or if he wavers from the path we lay, so uh, this uh, it's kind of interesting because we're we're not quite sure who exactly they're talking about. I mean, they show the people <laughs> in the general area, but they could also just be referring to somebody else in general. Um, so that's that's something we got to find out. <laughs> Sick and tired of seeing this mofo. So yeah, so uh, they might be referring to Roxas because I really hope these two. Don't, I mean, I don't think they're gonna get Norded. They're, they're kind of just NPCs out the way, but they might be referring to like not Sora exactly, but probably somebody close to Sora, or uh, they'll figure it out. <laughs> now. A lot of people have been, uh, oh boy, where do I even begin with this one? Um, first of all, it's Vexen and Demex, so, yeah, this is really intriguing. Um, now, what we can see is that it does look like he's been Norded, which is strange, um, especially after the events of, uh, Dream Drop Distance, so, um, it might be a clone. I mean, like, he's he's noted to make clones, um, so who knows? Uh, now, you can't really tell from this angle. Like, yeah, they look a little pointy, um, but also just could be the curvature of, of that angle. I'm really excited to see them X back. I mean, like, I, I didn't like his boss battle in 2. I mean, like, it's not that hard of a boss battle. It's just an annoying boss battle. Um... And, and it's just really, I mean, it's nice to see some of the old characters back. I would have preferred maybe some new character designs or, or just players or characters we've just never seen before. But um, I guess, uh, uh, you know, they just they just wanted to, um, uh, I don't know, just bring back fresh faces or, or, or original faces. So um, he seems like he's talking to Demex. Um, I wonder if he's trying to convert him. Because he's, he's talking about it's true. The plan was his idea. So something must have happened between Dream Drop Distance and, and at this moment where they're able to somehow recruit Demex, but we don't know what exact side he's on. Um, even though it's suggested he's most likely on the side of the Dark Seekers. Um, but yeah, but his this this looks a little bit pointed. He, we definitely see his eyes are Nordic. We can't. We never really see Dimex's eyes. Um, and like I said, it's kind of hard to see if it's pointed here, just due to 
just the curvature of the ears sometimes like in that angle you can't really tell um we kind of see his eyes to really figure it out um so that's for that but his idea um his idea yeah that that i mean i kind of wish they wouldn't play that that type of pronoun name but yeah so we we don't know who's he they're referring to um so we'll we'll figure that out as well and no this is not Shion. i know when the teaser came out a lot of people were freaking out like how dare you, Nomura? How dare you, Nort Shion, for bringing her back? And I'm like, it's most likely not Shion. Um, like I said, I thought it was a little too... I mean, like, the hairstyle, like, I mean, that's a nice teaser. It did kind of look like Shion, and everybody was freaking out, like, oh, Shion's Nort it. But, um, Sora, the way... Sora probably doesn't know, or he doesn't, or... Because it... Let me, let me just go forward. He's like, I can't now, a lot of people, I, I want to clear something up. A lot of people think this is Riku Riku. This is not Riku. This is uh, Replica Riku or slash Data Riku, but it's not the real Riku. Now, earlier in the video, I kind of mentioned like, oh, check the hair. His hair is too long for this. Like, yes, his eyes are yellow, but this is not the original Riku. Like he, like the older Riku, like Riku kind of looks a little different. This one still looks fairly young, so I think this is the other other Riku that we see in that E3 trailer when Oda Riku was talking to, it looks like the replica Riku. Now, um, the reason why Sora may be confused, because with Data Riku, actually the reason why Sora doesn't know, because remember, he lost his memory in, in Chain of Memory, so he doesn't remember ever reading, meeting uh, the replica Riku that you see in Castle Oblivion, so his memory is away from that, so that's why... He doesn't remember Replica Riku, and then Data Riku is existence because it wasn't Sora that really went into the digitized world. It was a Data version uh, of Sora. So, so all Sora thinks is, "Holy crap, Riku's Norded," and it's not really Riku. It's actually probably a a copy of Riku, um, because I don't know. Like I feel like that would just be a bad story move in general. If it was, oh, let's Nort Riku. Like, I know people are like, oh, well, they, we didn't expect him to Nort Awkward. I'm like, yeah, I get it. But it's it's not Riku. I'm like, I'm pretty 100% certain this is not the original Riku. Like, I feel like this is either uh, Data Riku from Coded or Replica Riku from uh, Chain of Memories. But it's not 100%. It's not Riku Riku. That's, that's not the main Riku. And, oh, oh, poor, uh, poor Ventus. This, um, I really am wondering why they have not taken his helmet off. Like, because we've seen what he looks like underneath his helmet. They, in fact, even showed what he looked like underneath his helmet, um, in the, in, 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 uh, uh Dream Drop Distance. But that's interesting how he says, what am I going to do with your brother? Um, now some people, uh, going, some people think, Vanitas is going to have some sort of redemption arc. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Um, and Nomura has is been noted to, to kind of troll us a lot. Um, and, and the reason why I say that because in uh, the Monsters, Inc. Uh, a trailer, there is a moment where, especially if you hear in the Japanese version of the, the way it's translated, um, where he's kind of reaching out for like the the monster version of Sora and, and Vinicius is sort of talking through him through Sora and there's like a desperation like the because the way the the Japanese word he uses and I can't unfortunately I can't remember the top of my head but the way he uses it is it's like a desperation version like it's just like I need the other half of me like like I cannot live without Ventus like there's something that Ventus has that I need and what's even weirder is that Vanitas is walking was walking with a uh, organization 13 outfit which Axel has stated uh, it's supposed to protect somebody uh, from darkness when they're going through the corridor of darkness now why would someone like Vanitas have something like that if since he's darkness himself like he literally through birth by sleep was just skydiving and skating through or surfing you know through the corridors of darkness as much as he pleases 
you know, with, with the suit that he's wearing. So why would he need something to protect him from the darkness unless he has that small uh, semblance of light? And then another thing that's also kind of interesting, that a lot of people have kind of pointed out, um, if you listen to the uh, Kingdom Hearts, I believe it's like the World Tour Orchestra or something like that, um, the heroes and heroines' character melody has a very interesting theme song at towards the end. Uh, it sounds very much like Vanitas' theme song, which is odd considering why is he part of the heroes and heroine melody when he's considered a bad guy. Uh, so that's something to think about as well. So I don't know if it's just him trying to establish his own self or he actually does have a connection where he may not be trying to harm Ventus or he may be trying to harm Ventus, but I just find his borderline attitude intriguing. Okay, uh, I just really want to point this out because it's kind of getting a long analysis. Uh, so the way, like everybody assumes Aqua's being Norded, and, and maybe she is, um, but I thought that was interesting where this darkness like that's crawling up on her, uh, especially with the skin, it, it's similar to, uh, uh, it was like those Darklings in, in, in uh, uh, KH Union, um, where if a uh, Keyblade wielder had lost her heart, they sort of turned into this heartless. Especially with how her hands are a little reddish and, and their claws are also kind of reddish too, so that's, that's something to look at. Now that... She looks so done, but that looks like, um... The, uh, oh, what was it? Like the, the shadow that used to be around Master uh, uh, Xehanort. She got it memorized or something? <laughs> Lee also looks so done. Um, I wonder who. You know what? Uh, I think I might know who he's carrying. Also, that's odd that Demix is just wandering around as he pleases. Um, I think the previous two scenes are connected, so that's probably Diz right there. Axel looks like he's seen a ghost and is scared crapless. Sarah. Um, really quickly, because uh, like I said, my analysis is getting a little bit long. Um, I, I think this this whole scene, Sora must be diving in to help uh, uh, Ventus, and uh, <laughs> we probably did something to stop, and that's why... Uh, Vinitas is not that happy. Uh, yep, dive in. Uh, that's not too. I, okay. <laughs> uh, I really want to address, actually, these very... Let me go back. These these go by very, very fast, and I really want to address those. Um, let me start backwards. Yeah, so, um... Our first thing first, actually, let me go with scene just before that one. Um, so, she really looks so tired. Um, now, this probably takes place right around that... Uh, we actually don't know what world they're on. But it does take place like right around uh, that ending scene in the uh, E3 trailer. I think it was the Pirates of the Caribbean scene where he's like, "Oh, you cut your hair, you look nice," um, and it sounds like she's doing the "Got it memorized." He looks just so beyond done. <laughs> like that face is just—he's—he's he's just like, "I get it. You're you're using my joke against me." Um, she actually looks pretty. Uh, bracelet, uh, new outfit. They have to put the throw plaid somewhere in there. Uh, now like we said, uh, no actually, I thought that was Dreads, that's his hand. Uh, now we can't really tell his eyes, though his ears look a little bit more pointier here. Um, like right there. Uh, so that's definitely kind of interesting, you see Ienzo right there. Um, so yeah, so let's assume this is, uh, Diz, or, um, correction, Ansem. Yeah, so, uh, he looks knocked out, this is like... Ansem the Wise, uh, especially with that beard. Unless this is Luxord, but that doesn't look like a Luxord. This looks like um, Ansem the Wise. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he really looks like what 
just happened. Also, this Twilight Town just... Oh, God, I can't wa wait to play Twilight Town. It just looks so clean, so fresh. This looks like the top of the tower. Um, now, we don't see Syx's eyes. We can't really see his ears either, so we don't know if he's, like, norted or... Just, like, the shock look makes me curious of what exactly is about to go down. Um, so, but I still think he's norted. Uh, some people were saying hopefully Kyrie's not in the area, but we have no clue. But uh, he probably goes to visit this area in remembrance of, of Roxas and Shion. What up? Um, so we can get a clear that. Uh, oops, too far. Uh, so it looks like, can't see his eyes, but it looks like Terra is kind of going through, um, looks like he's having some sort of fight within himself. Uh, and I just kind of mentioned this is probably like, uh, it actually looks like a barrier right there. It looks like, uh, he might have, we need to just might have tried to give it a few whacks at that, but, uh, because that's where Ventus was, so it's probably, um, uh, it's probably sore, like I said, diving down, trying to rescue Ventus. Um, they might have, now, they might have temporarily saved Aqua from Norted, being Norted just for a few minutes, uh, to maybe, like, hey, here's, uh, Here's, here's to try to rescue uh, Ventus. So I, I definitely think Ventus won't be Norded. I actually think he'll probably be on the good side. Um, but yeah, Venetus just doing whatever Venetus does. Uh, that scene from 0 0.2. Uh, yeah, so he's probably going to go rescue him. Now, I really kind of want to address this this issue. We, we don't know where in the game this takes place. Uh, this could be at the end. This could be just... Um, having a discussion, um, you know, before, but it appears he's wearing his KH3 outfit. It's kind of hard to see with the sun glare. Um, so if he's wearing his KH3 outfit, then we know this at least takes place towards the ending. Um, now, first and foremost, I, I get, you know, it's fandoms. Like, fandoms always have their ships. Uh, you know, people have their, their Sora and Kyrie ship or their, their, Sora and Riku ship, or their Roxas and Nominee and Shion and Nominee, or Shion and Roxas. Like, everybody, everybody has their ships. Um, but, like, it's it's kind of frustrating because some people, they're, the, and, and, and I'm not trying to be rude because, like, everybody can have their ships, but, like, there will be some people who would, like, get so angry at this scene saying, Oh, Square Enix is homophobic because they didn't have Sora and Riku together. I'm like, no, just, just let it be, okay? Like, sometimes. If if so if Sora and Kyrie is the end game, then that's just the end game. I mean, um, if you if you don't like the end game, you know, there's always fan art, there's always fan fiction. That's where a lot of stuff comes from. So I mean, a lot of people, if if who are Sora and Riku fans, that's how it is. Doesn't necessarily mean oh, Square Enix is homophobic because they don't have you know a, a gay couple. I mean, like that's just Kingdom Hearts. There might not even be an end game. I just think this is a very beautiful scene and most likely is a callback to the very first game where they're kind of sitting by the sun to just having a conversation. Like, I would really love it that was just a callback of them just having a conversation. Like, they don't even have to kiss. They don't have to do anything romantic. I just like the callback and I think it's just a very pretty beautiful scene because holy crap, just the, the, the green of that is really great. So, I, I, I like this callback. I personally think it's a callback. Uh, if it's an end game, then maybe. I, if it's part of the ending, who knows? Um, I'm just saying, like, like for people to be respectful. Like, if Sora, who knows? Maybe Sora Riku is the end game. Maybe Sora and Kyrie is the game. We don't know. Uh, we don't know if there ever will be an end game. Maybe it's all three of them are will just stay best friends forever, like platonic friends forever. We don't know. Um, remember, Disney has a say in this. So, whatever Disney says, uh, Square Enix has to go by. What? is making him tear up that badly uh it is so looks like the same world whatever they're on uh, maybe he's imagining Shion. i don't know i just want him in a new outfit that's not the organization give hashtag give haxel a new outfit in the game um this scene so we know this is roxas that's roxas that's his oblivion um now, a lot of people are freaking out saying, oh, Roxas must be Norded, Roxas must be Norded. I don't think he's Norded. Like, I don't know what building this is, but I don't think he's Norded. Like, I mean, 
as much as people be like, oh, well, they Norded Aqua. I'm like, yeah, I get that, but I just don't think Roxas is Norded. Um, like, until I see pointy ears and yellow eyes, uh, I'm going to assume... I actually think he's coming as a backup. I think whatever's going on here, he's probably about to, like, kick somebody's butt or rescue somebody. That's what I think. Um, but I don't think he's evil. Like, I, I honestly think he probably escapes most of the wrath. So, unless I see something otherwise, I don't think he's Norded. I know everybody thinks he's Norded. I don't think he's Norded. So, yeah, that's probably about it. So, yeah, it's, uh... I mean, we have a lot of context, but it, it's not all connected together, so we don't know what exactly is going on until we uh, find out January 29th, uh, January 25th, that you're in Japan. So, uh, whew, this is going to be a very, very big game. Um, yeah, no, there's a lot, there's just a lot of stuff going on, just like, it, you have, you have to play the previous games to, to get a full understanding. Like, if you only play the numerical games... You are going to be so beyond loss of what's what's going down on Kingdom Hearts 3. And uh, some people are like, oh, let's do spoilers and all this other stuff. I mean, like I said, to me, like, it's it's cool to see and it, and it gets me hyped and gets me pumped up. It's just, like, we're, there's content that's missing. Like, for why Replica Riku is an ordered, why is this happening? Was it, like, it's, we see it, but we can't really comprehend what's going on because we're missing information. Once we have that information come January, hopefully things make sense, and then you're going to be like, holy crap, I was not expecting that. So, uh, we just have to see. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, that was kind of my trailer <laughs> analysis. It's kind of a long trailer analysis. Uh, I don't know if I really do another one, but, um, yeah. Uh, see you soon. See ya.